done this one one time ever. I told one audience ever in my entire 25 year career this next story. <laughs> You're my second one. I did it there so I could do it here tonight. <laughs> Gotta give you a little bio before I go into this. Uh, this is a special night. I'm gonna do something like that. But I'm gonna do it tonight. Uh, let me give you a little bio. We'll start with the seminary where I was studying to study to be a Catholic priest. Uh, the following year, I was on a chain gang in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you're falling in uh, <laughs> with a bad crowd. <laughs> I do nine months of a year's sentence for stealing a car. Uh, to meet some really interesting folk. And when I get out of the chain gang in New Orleans Parish Prison, I uh, become a burglar for the New Orleans mob for a while. I was just a kid. And uh, then I joined the army. I joined the army because that particular judge uh, gave me a choice. <laughs> I said, let me see if I understand this correctly, Your Honor. You'll drop all of the charges and give me a gun. <laughs> all right, I'll take that deal. So I joined the U.S. Army. The Army took a known burglar, and guess what they taught me? Explosives. <laughs> so I got out of the Army. I was 20 years old. Thanks to Catholicism, I could read Latin and Greek. Thanks to the New Orleans mob, I could now knew how to circumvent a burglar alarm system. And thanks to tax dollars at work, I knew how to blow shit up. <laughs> well, the Latin and Greek weren't a lot of hell. And, uh, but, but I took the other two <laughs> and decided to be all I could be and uh, became a safe cracker. I was the real deal. I burglarized upscale jewelry stores up and down the West Coast. I stole from the rich, and I kept it. <laughs> I was a very, very successful burglar until one night I wasn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hate it when that happened. <laughs> And uh, they sent my young ass off to prison for three years. That takes us up to about age 26. Um, <laughs> and by the time I was turned 31, I was a vice president of Macmillan Publishing Company, the third largest in the world, and became a hotshot sales trainer for publishing companies, went on to run British printing in the South Pacific. And at the height of my corporate career, uh, I quit that and became a stand-up comic. I was the last new comic on Carson. I got my first uh, a movie, I've done 38, 38, 38, something like that, television appearances. I had my own stage show in LA. And uh, uh, this year, I got my first movie part. It was a very bad movie, but I got him and I got a movie role. And I got a horrible movie. Uh, called Totally Baked. It should have just been totally burned. And, uh, the world would be better off. But anyway, and tonight is my 65th birthday. So. trial, escape from L.A. County Jail, and end up being eventually sentenced off to prison. How's that for a story?